Hi, I'm Pat Clark with Lifting Gear Hire Corporation, and today we're discussing troubleshooting ideas regarding our hydraulic cylinders and pumps. First, we'll start with the cylinders themselves. Suppose you're not able to raise or lower. You want to recheck those hoses, make sure that they're connected properly and the couplings engage properly. Next, consider the pump itself. Perhaps it's malfunctioning or the oil reserve is too low. Also, how about the weight that you're attempting to lift? Perhaps it's too much for the rated capacity of the cylinder or cylinders. What if you're using a load return cylinder? Again, remember you need to have a significant amount of weight in order for the cylinder to retract. How about if the cylinder doesn't advance at all, does so slowly or in spurts? Again, you want to make sure that you check the oil, those couplers, and if you're using a hand pump, it could be that the release valve is open. In addition to that, there could be air trapped in the line. A good way to relieve that air is if you're using a single acting cylinder is to invert the cylinder and cycle it completely two to three times. If you're using a double acting cylinder, you want to repeat a similar process. However, put it on its side, make sure the couplers are up, and also cycle it two to three complete times. If your cylinder is advancing but not holding pressure, it could be due to some damaged or worn seals. Also, you may have an internal leak within the system that you're not aware of. If you do have a leak in your cylinder, light seepage is normal, heavy flow is not. That's because of severe side loading. At all times, you must make sure that your cylinder and system is lifting level and plumb. If your cylinder is not retracting or is doing so slowly, check your pump. The reserve may be overfilled. Also on the release valve of the pump, it may be engaged in the closed position. Be sure to check those couplings. Also make sure that there's no air in the line with the exercise we mentioned previous. And remember, are you using a load return cylinder within your system? Regarding hand pumps, suppose you want to advance the cylinder and it's not able to do so properly. Remember to make sure that you've engaged your release valve in order to build up pressure. Next, let's say you're able to advance it, but not to the achieved height. You're not able to hold and maintain that pressure. Perhaps you don't have enough oil in your system or there's an internal leak in your system itself. Now, let's suppose you want to retract it and you're not able to do so. Meanwhile, when it was advanced, perhaps somebody had taken and filled up the oil reserve too much. What if the system is acting erratic? There could be air in the system. Remember to follow those instructions on both the single acting and the double acting cylinders. Regarding our electric power pumps, if you press the button and the motor does not engage, it could be due to lack of power. As we mentioned earlier, permanently affixed on every pump is a reference card that shows the proper length and gauge extension cord required to power the unit. Specifically, if you're using a model that runs off of 115 volts, at full load it can use up to 20 amps. The 220 volt models can draw up to 12 amps. In addition to that, depending on the length of rental and the conditions you're working in, you may find that the brushes on the interior housing are worn. Also, due to freight and shipping and vibration, you may find that one of the interior fuses has come loose. If you choose, you can remove the housing, refasten that fuse, and try again. Regarding our gas-powered pumps, if you're building pressure but the load isn't lifting, consider that the weight of the load is too heavy for the capacity of the cylinders and or pump. Also, if you're building pressure but it's not able to maintain it, you should consider that your oil levels might be too low or too high. There also may be some internal or external leaks within the system. In addition to that, the relief valve on the pump may be set too low. These type of valves are not to be tampered with and are preset at lifting gear and the manufacturer themselves. If this is the case, you should call us immediately. Thank you for watching our troubleshooting video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. In our rental fleet, our hydraulic cylinder capacities range from 5 ton all the way up to 1,000 tons. Our pumps range from 45 cubic inches all the way up to 40 gallons, and we offer our hydraulic hoses in virtually any length. For more questions regarding our hydraulic cylinders and other products we rent, give us a call. As a reminder, the contents of this video were for informational purposes only. Please consult the manufacturer's guidelines and use and care instructions before beginning.